Okay, so this um, motion, this sine wave, this eternal rhythm of ascending and descending, uh, climbing the proverbial mountain, going down into the valley, um, the way that it looks um, makes one think of the myth of Sisyphus, where Sisyphus is forever pushing the boulder up the mountain. And then when he gets to the top, it rolls back down to the bottom. <laughs> and then he's got to push it up again for all of eternity. And I think many of us can relate to that myth. <laughs> yeah. And to me, the enrollment in the Earth School that we're at of human incarnation reflects this. Here's the motion again. You're going to push the boulder up. It's going to roll down to the bottom. And then you're going to start pushing it up again for eternity. And so Albert Camus, the existentialist philosopher, he had a problem with this because he saw it as this epic struggle and that we're stuck we're trapped in this struggle right pushing the boulder up the up the mountain right this inevitable so, loop that you can't break out of right and so there is a way to break out of it though and Camus was on to it and he says the struggle itself towards the heights is enough to fill a man's heart one must imagine Sisyphus happy so this is the key is that if we judge the system the cycle and if you're looking at the top of the cycle as being positive and the neg and the bottom of the cycle being quote negative you're going to create the dichotomous polarizing situation of heaven and hell and you're going to continually jockey for only positive more ascending experience and you're going to resist and create suffering in the deeper darker depths of the experience and then that might be projected onto all of life where we are continually jockeying for so-called positive experiences and trying to avoid darker what the ego might call negative experiences right. so the way through this in my view is to stop judging everything and be with the beauty and the spiritual purpose of anywhere in the cycle has uh, an amazing um, contribution and curriculum and spiritual importance. Um, and so we must approach the whole cycle um, from a place of willingness and and excitement and happiness to be anywhere in the rhythm. Just like we can be anywhere in this seasonal rhythm. We're not going to continually say, oh, it sucks because it's November and it's not the middle of summer. No, be with November autumn energy or with the daily rhythm. The same thing, we, day and night is the same pattern. Sunrise is spring, you know, noon is summer, sunset is autumn, and midnight is winter. It's the same idea. Absolutely. Um, That's beautiful and really resonates too. Because we can't always be at a peak experience. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a peak. You need that, that yeah. immigration process. Go back down the mountain. Breathe. And so yeah. non-attachment from wherever you are in the, in the cycle, which basically means I'm willing and accept and I trust life and I'm willing to be with it. I'm willing to be in whatever season I'm in. Um, and so being um, partners with this rhythm. Willing partners is the way through. And then we can do it effectively and consciously, and then we might get off the cycles of samsara, and we might move on to something else. But we can have fun while we're going through it. 